going to do, just so you can see, is we are going to engrave, and I've already engraved these last night on stream, um, these five guys here. Now I'm going to do one that's going to be plain, just clear epoxy filled. And you see we've got it marked on the bottom. Then I'm going to do one that's just going to be paint filled. We're going to paint it black inside and then do a regular epoxy fill over top of that. Then we're going to do colored and we're actually going to take this emerald green and we're going to fill this in with the epoxy and mix it in together. Make green epoxy to fill this in so that it'll do something completely different than if you had painted the inside green. And then I'm taking this fluorescent green glow powder. We're going to mix it in for this guy. And then I'm going to take this copper inlay right here and we're going to mix it with the acrylic and we're going to do a really awesome epoxy resin mix there as well. And we have each has their own nice little deal. So that's what we're after. So to do 50-50, we're going to start right here. I'm just going to let her go nice and slow. And back on off of that a little. That is an ounce, but I need more than that. Alright, I want to do two ounces of this stuff. Okay. Alright, there's two ounces of the actual resin. Alright, I'll put the lid back on it, put it out the way. And then, yeah, it settled down nice to two ounces. And then two ounces right here of the hardener. Pour it slowly because I don't want to overfill. And you don't want your mixture to be off. This needs to be exactly 50-50. Okay, so now if we look at it at a better angle, you can see we're straight up at four ounces. You can also see that it's separated in the bottom down here. So now once we do that, we go to mixing. Now the mixing is going to take a minute because we have to mix it very, very well. All right. Okay, and now we're nice and filled all the way through. We let that dry. To start, I'm going to pour into here for the plain clear. And that's what this is. So I'm just going to take with my brush, because there are air bubbles in this resin right now. I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to go right across all of it. Just like this. And what this is doing is filling the entire engraving with my epoxy resin. Now all the air bubbles are going to rise to the top. So that's what this spoil board down here is for. That's going to catch the extra nonsense that's going to come off of those. So that is the first of five that we're going to do and we're going to set it right there on its own we'll leave this one off and then we're going to take mix in here about a third of what's left all right like that and we're going to mix in our color and we're doing the green powder that's going to go in there and this is a beautiful metallic green it's very glittery so we're just going to mix just like that a decent little bit of it in there we're going to get it all mixed in pretty it all up and this just going to look chalky as hell for a minute okay so we're going to take we're going to mix 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 this all nice and pretty up. And I'm going to make sure I got it off the sides. I want to get it all really, really in there, you know. 
All right, now we're going to wait just a second and let that cure up a bit. You for me? All right, and now we're going to take the green and pour straight over top and inside of this guy. Oh, yeah, the green's gorgeous. We're gonna go across just like this and come back just like this. And we're gonna go down here. I want to get even the word colored filled in. Then, because there's so much extra on this one, I'm gonna bring it back just like this. I don't want to take it down flat. Taking it down flat would be a bad thing. This stuff shrinks as it cures. So I'm going to take it down like this. I'm going to leave enough space for the bubbles to climb. Okay? So that is the colored, and we'll move on from there. That stick has had it. And we, we still have half of that cup left. So you don't have to use a whole lot of this. Now, next, we are going to do the okay so roughly a third of this it's not going to take that much i mixed up a little bit too much and that's fine it's always better to have more than you need than not enough Consistency. huh Consistency. Yeah. okay now this one we're going to use this really awesome glow-in-the-dark powder so i'm just going to take and mix it in nicely like that now if you've never used this stuff before it's pretty awesome honestly but it is not cheap this shit's expensive so be careful not to waste it or what I'm doing now is just neon greening it up really well now what's funny is it looks like this now but it looks damn near clear when you're done with it and it's sitting and soaking into the wood I'm going to mix it up nicely and get the particles spread the way they're supposed to be. Scrape the sides for any dust or residue. And then come right back to it and pour right out on top. Just like this. Now, there's a lot of different ways for spreading this stuff out. I actually do have a, uh, a plastic trowel that I use on occasion. But since I want this video to be the easy way to do it with, you know, the stuff you've got sitting around your house, we're going to take it that way. And take some of this extra back off and straight down there like this but we don't want to take all of it off so you see I chop it but I left some in that top corner I did that because I'm coming back and I'm brushing it back across the whole face of this guy so like I say you want it to be slightly above the engraving and the reason for that is and I'll repeat myself again. Shrinkage. This shit is going to shrink as it sets here. It'll set. It'll level itself out really nice. And then it'll shrink. And that stick's done now. So. Now we have the glowing one done. Or doing rather. And you can see this wasted board is being wasted. There's no stopping that. Next. Is that dry? It's dry enough. Well, that's it. Okay. Next, we're going to go ahead and do the metal. Now, again, I'm going to pour into here. With metal, you have to make sure you use enough. Because if you use too little, 
it won't settle right. Oh, good deal, good deal. Are bubbles a problem at this point in time? No, bubbles are not a problem. And the reason for that is I let, I overfill all of my engravings so that the resin is actually above the engraving. So all the bubbles that are in there are going to rise. Now, once I get all of these done, I'm going to show you how to deal with your bubbles and we'll go from there. But right now we're going to do a copper inlay. And this, that's what this is, is a copper powder. And it's actual copper powder. So we put our metal in and we spin the hell out of it. Same as before. We get it nice and mixed up. Now the cool thing about using metal for your epoxy resin is that it actually metal actually settles to the bottom of the epoxy so you want to use enough that's not enough you want to use enough so that even after it settles the metal is still riding the top of the engraving because if not what you end up with is a metallic look on the bottom with like a clear coat over top and you don't want that you want it to be a nice solid uniform color that's metallic we're going to mix it up really nice and it gets almost like mud if you look at it because unlike the powders that we used before they dissolve in the liquid metal obviously does not And we're going to take it just like that. And we're going to just like this. Like that. Just like this. And we're going to fill the whole thing up. And then lay it down like that all right and we're going to scrape lightly i want to leave even more on the metal than i do the rest of them the reason for that is like i say the metal is actually going to settle to the bottom of this so i want to have enough of an overage where after it settles when we go to sand tomorrow we're still in it Okay, so there's that one and left over and now we're on to just the paint filled and the, the paint filled we're going to pour straight out of the main bucket. Boom. It's nice, it's clear and it's just a clear covering that's going over top of the paint. It's going to saturate, it's going to fill all of this engraving. And then we're going to go ahead and just scrape off a little bit of the extra here. And a lot of this initial scrape off are the bubbles that you were talking about. I want to make sure that I've got plenty of extra on top. And just like that, we have filled five different ways with epoxy resin. All right, cord this. See, this is the metal fill. This was painted and then clear filled. This is the glow in the dark. You can see it's already clearing up a bit. This is colored acrylic and it's got a metallic almost emerald green as this stuff is in there. And then this is just a plain filled with epoxy. So again, here are our fillers. We've got our black paint, we've got our copper inlay, we've got our fluorescent glow powder, and we have our emerald green filler. And of course, I need to do this here too. And these are how we're using the mix. So, 
that's good we'll come back to more later so what we do after 30 or 40 minutes is we come back with a heat gun and lightly go across this to pop some bubbles lightly and you keep it moving you do not stop it you do not heat it up you don't do any of that shit because this will cook that liquid out of the resin and it'll make that shit get just uh, all kind of nasty and you just do it a little bit and what it does is it heats up the resin and by heating it up it makes it thinner by making it thinner it makes the bubbles able to rise to the top again now the trick is to be quick because if you get it too hot the wood gets hot and will actually aerate itself and you'll be creating bubbles instead of eliminating them Now we're sanded all the way down and it's ready to be and this is the one that's painted before we clean it up all right we're going to use this tongue oil finish Just like that we're going to get in there and clean this up So there's your plane. You can see you have nice detail. It's dark. Also, if you look at it from an angle, which angle is good for here? All right. Then we have the painted. You can see once we get all that residue off. This really cleans up nicely. Then we have the colored, the actual fill in here. And what's cool about this is it gives it a little bit of depth of color depending on just where you hit at and stuff. The glow, which is just about as green as the other green, except for this, is designed to be shown at night. And then the metallic. Which, this was copper, so it's kind of dark. You might be able to see a little bit. I'm going to kick it over to the side like that of this down in here. I think I needed to put in more metal or use a deeper engraving than a laser. So, these are the five. Like that. 